my god hi guys in this video we are going to be unboxing the makeup revolution beauty advent calendar it is this one here my husband has covered this area here because you can see the products and we don't want that the price for this one is 59 euros and 99 cents it is exactly the same price as last year's advent calendar in this one we have 25 products and i'm hoping that we don't have the same tiny brushes again last year the overall value of the advent calendar was not that great i'm hoping that we have something better for this one as you can see they have changed the packaging we don't have that book with the doors we have those beautiful boxes here and the design is very elegant and cute this one here is one of the most highly requested advent calendars on my channel this year also the essence advent calendars were very highly requested i have unboxed those i'm gonna have a link down below and let's remove the belt Ta -da! we also have a plastic protective layer oops number six go back to your house let's find box number one it is this one here okay it's not happening on camera <laughs> box number one i'm gonna say a lipstick and we have oh what is this we have a lip product but it is a lip gloss this is in the shade adore this year we have a name for the shade last year we didn't have any names on the products and let's see the color of it it looks like something super super wearable this is a shade that can look amazing on everyone and let's continue with the box number two it's this tiny here i'm gonna say a brow mascara a mini brow mascara i'm right this is a brow gel and we have it in the shade we don't have a shade so let's see the color and as i can see this is a clear brow gel box number three is super adorable okay so this is a little bit fuller i'm gonna say a mascara and we have another lip gloss let's see this one is a liquid eyeshadow oh that's nice so we have oh my god we have a shade it says pink let's see the color of it i'm so so excited for this product and uh, this one has a sheer coverage it's not very full so you can use it as a base for a pink smoky eye look yeah it has a shimmery finish and the color is adorable that's not super easy to blend and as you can see i removed some of the product but maybe it works different on the eyes i like that this one is a full size i'm very excited about that and let's Let's find box number four it is this one here it looks like a lipstick am i right it sounds like a lipstick too i'm super excited oh my god it's a lipstick this is the lipstick in the shade adore as well it doesn't say what is the finish of this lipstick so i'm gonna swatch it and see so this one has some marks here it is like scratched but i don't think this is used okay i think i like the consistency it looks like this it has like a matte finish also this one is a full size great after that we have box number five I think we have a pencil i'm gonna say a lip pencil and we have a pencil it says eyeliner so i'm guessing this is an eye pencil we don't have a shade for this one and it is a black eye pencil this is very similar to last year's eye pencil that we got this one here so i'm gonna keep it for a giveaway box number six is a little bit different so it is very lightweight otherwise i was gonna say a blush or a bronzer oh oh my god i would have never guessed this one it smells a little bit also it's not so well made we have some threads here that are not cut this one is a filler product and let's find box number seven and this one looks like a lipstick again and we have a lipstick and this one here is in the shade cupid with this one you can do a very soft pink smoky eye look and you can use the liquid eyeshadow of this advent calendar and after that we have box number eight and this time it is heavy yes i'm gonna say a blush let's find out oh i'm so excited oh no it's a palette this one here is the seven pan shadow palette so this is exactly the same packaging of eyeshadow palette that we had 
two years ago and the last year it's not easy to take the product with your brush from these very very thin pans so it is the third year that we have this eyeshadow palette in different colors but I don't get it. These here are the matte eyeshadows and we also have four shimmery eyeshadows. I think these two eyeshadows are very dark for a crease color. I like that we have something different and especially this eyeshadow here. So box number nine and oops. Oh my god. I think they were empty. Again box number nine here and uh, it feels like fully packed but it's not very heavy i hope it's not a mirror let's see and we have a blush this one is the blusher we don't have a shade for this one it is just the blusher this one looks like a very pretty shade this is very pigmented it can work for medium to darker skin tones i think it is very bright also it doesn't match with the eyeshadows or the lipsticks that we have already seen from this advent calendar moving on to box number 10 it is heavier i'm gonna say again a mascara we have a lip gloss and this one is in the shade pink so let's see oops <laughs> let's see the color of it it is very very glossy and it has like a strawberry scent or a sweet chemical scent i'm not very sure if it is strawberries but it smells very nice and let's find box number eight sounds like a pencil i'm gonna say a lip pencil again and it's gonna be a brow pencil and we have oh my god this is a brow pencil so we don't have a shade for this product again this one has a stiff consistency it is gonna work better if you have a lighter brow hair i don't think this is gonna look great on me with brow pencils it is a hit or miss in advent calendars here we have day number 12 and it is heavier i'm gonna say a liquid lipstick and this one is the eye primer we don't have a shade for this one and it is exactly the same product that we got last year and the last last year so i'm not gonna open it i'm back this is how it looks and it has like a medium coverage if you don't have a lot of discolorations you can use it so box number 13 is a little bit different but i don't hear anything and that's very discouraging and this one is stuck this one is a brow crayon it is a clear brow product i don't know why i'm swatching it but yeah i like that this one is clear so everybody can use it day number 14 is a little bit fuller i'm gonna say a bronzer the box is not opening it is a highlighter so it doesn't have a name it looks like a darker shade for me so this one is gonna look better on medium to darker skin tones but i think that you can also use it on a lighter complexions if you just use it with a light hand day number 15 here it sounds like a liquid lipstick and this one is a liquid eyeshadow in the shade rose gold it looks majestic and very pretty this is also a shimmery eyeshadow it is super festive and sparkly it also has some very fine micro glitter after that we have box number 16 i'm gonna say again a mascara and we have a lip gloss this one is in the shade cupid again just a sec so we have again the same shade for a lip gloss and a lipstick this is a very nice lip gloss i'm not very sure that i like that we have the same color for the lipstick and the lip gloss let me know in the comments what are your thoughts about that box number 17 here it is very lightweight i'm gonna say tweezers oh it's not no the brushes again it is an angle brush that you can use for your brows or your eyes and i actually have here the brushes that we got two years ago these are exactly the same i don't like these brushes because they have a very short handle it's not easy to hold them and do your makeup some of you like them so i'm gonna keep them for a giveaway and let's see what we have in box number 18 here this time i'm gonna say a lip gloss and it's gonna be a mascara <laughs> so oh oh it's a lip gloss i found it this one is a clear lip gloss we have it every year now it is the third clear lip gloss that i'm getting from this advent calendar i'm gonna keep it for a giveaway because i have exactly the same after that we have day number 19 it is fuller 
I'm gonna say again a bronzer. <laughs> this one here is the baking powder. I think I have it again. So just a sec. I'm back. And I don't have it, so let's swatch it and see if this is translucent. This one has a little bit of color and it's not gonna work for any skin tone. That's disappointing. After that, we have day number 20. It is very lightweight. I'm gonna say tweezers again. Oh my god, it's a brush. This one looks like a tiny, tiny eyeshadow brush. We also had it last year and last last year it is this one here i'm a poet and i don't know it box number 21 sounds like a pencil i found it and this one is the lip liner we don't have the shade so let's see the color oh that's weird it smells plasticky instead of wooden. Why? So this one has a nice color payoff, but it's not very creamy. You can use this with the lipsticks and the lip glosses that we got in this advent calendar. And let's find now box number 22. I'm gonna say again a lip pencil in a darker shade. And this is oh my god not again so this is a face brush you can use it to apply your blush or your contouring but it is very small and this one looks a little bit bigger than the other face brushes that we got maybe this is more practical to use box 23 here i'm having a deja vu i hope that we don't have a mirror and one side mirror and this one is a mirror <laughs> This is a mirror. It has a very pretty design, but it's not easy to have it in your purse if you want because it can break. On the other side, it has a very nice size. You can use it to apply your lipstick or retouch your blush. And after that, we have day number 24. Most likely, this is a brush because all the other times we got four brushes. So let's see. Oh my god yeah this one looks like a concealer brush and this is what we had in the other advent calendars so i think this one is also a little bit bigger let's continue with this beautiful box here day number 25 and it looks like a face palette or an eyeshadow palette Ooh, that's so pretty this one here is the reloaded eyeshadow palette in the shade midnight it looks super super pretty the reloaded palettes are very affordable and usually they have very nice eyeshadows i like that in this eyeshadow palette we have the eyeshadows that i was missing from the small one the crease colors that i wanted you can do some beautiful blue and purple eyeshadow looks with these two palettes also something very everyday and natural i'm back we have some some products in this advent calendar that are designed for it and that's nice however we have a lot of mini products the variety is not that bad but i don't like that we have again the same tiny brushes this is the third year that we have also this type of palette about the lip glosses i found it completely pointless that we have the same color for the lip glosses and the lipsticks because we also have a clear lip gloss we could have some other shades for these products here we have again two products the overall value of this advent calendar is better than last year's it is 75 euros but i think this one is one of the worst advent calendars that i have unboxed this year i'm gonna give this advent calendar two and a half stars with advent calendars you are giving up the option of choosing the products and i think that it is better to keep your 60 euros and buy exactly what you want by this brand let me know in the comments what are your thoughts about this advent calendar and you can find here more unboxing videos if you like this one please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell and i will see you in the next one bye